Hey guys, it's Caleb here again. I'm back with uh, another quick video. Uh, today I want to talk about JavaScript promises. I am going to go ahead and assume that you know how to use promises, that you have know how to consume the promise uh, using the then method and the catch method and all that stuff. And I'm going to even assume that you've written promises before. There are tons of other great videos out there on promises, and I'm not just going to recreate one. Instead, what I'm going to do is talk to you today about how I like to write my promises using arrow functions. And you may already know all about this. If you do, that's great. <laughs> you can move on with your life. Um, if not, then th I think this is really cool. It's a really clean uh, syntax and way to to write these arrow functions, uh, to write promises rather, using arrow functions. Uh, so let me jump in and show you what I mean here. Normally, if you were going to write a promise, you would do something like this. Let's say the get stuff gets an ID, and it returns a new promise. I will say here real quick that um, the new spec for ES uh, six uh, ES twenty sixteen promises is that um, you use new promise and not promise dot deferred. So if you're using promise dot deferred, that's kind of deprecated, and uh, you actually use the promise constructor. So anyway, we return a new promise, and that new promise uh, would take in a function which has resolve and reject down in here we will simulate an asynchronous uh, uh, function here by using set timeout we will have it go for two seconds wait two seconds and we'll have it resolve we'll use the uh, back ticks so if we wanted to consume this promise we would come down here and we would say get stuff um, we would pass in an ID so one two three and then it would have a then method which would take a function and that function would have the response with it and then we get console log that response and if I did that correctly it should work yeah so after two seconds we get the log down here in the console um, here's the stuff you wanted and the ID back one two three so anyway, um, assuming that you're familiar with that, that's how you would normally write a promise. Now we're going to refactor this with arrow functions. Arrow functions are, are cool for a multitude of ways. Uh, the reason that they're cool right now in, in this aspect is that they have something called implicit returns. So if I write something down here and I say const uh, temp and temp is equal to a function that takes an ID or, well, let's just have it not take anything, and it returns um, one two three for example so notice I don't have any brackets here I don't have a bracket on I don't have uh, curly brackets on either side of this and the reason that I don't need that is because if you don't use curly brackets uh, curly braces with um, arrow functions then you get implicit returns which means anything after the arrow here is returned without using the return keyword. So if we were to invoke this function, uh, so let's console log it. Like that. We should see one, two, three. So it just returned for us one, two, three. Now this can be used in a ton of ways. It's really great for functional programming where you want to uh, have a function that takes in some data, returns some data, and just passes it straight to the next function. Um, but today we're, we're going to use it to refactor this promise and make it far better. So the way that I just think about promises um, is with arrow functions. It's, it's, it's like they were made for each other. So let's delete this 
and let's uncomment this console log again. So we're going to do a couple of things here real quick just to clean this up. First, we're going to turn this into an arrow function. So um, if it's only returning one property or only has uh, only taking in one thing, uh, then we don't even need we don't even need the brackets. We can just write the arrow function like that, and it will work. Um, so that's really great, one way to clean that up. But now up here on the promise is where the fun comes in. So what we can do is call this const. I actually don't like using the function keyword at all because I like to know whether it's a constant or a let or var or whatever. So I say const get stuff equals, and I can take the bracket off because in this case it's only taking in one thing, id. and um, this would be an arrow function. Now, again, I said they implicitly return, so we don't need this return keyword. Instead, we can take it off all the way back here to the bracket. So now, this is much prettier. Const get stuff takes an ID and returns a new promise. Now, the new promise, um, it takes a function. So we're going to just delete the function. We're going to use arrow functions here. And it has resolve and reject on it. And goes down to set timeout. We can take out this last um, bracket here. All right, I'm going to go here, and we're going to turn this into an arrow function too, because why not? and clear the console, and there we go. So this is far, far prettier, and, and just much more functional uh, in uh, many meanings of that word. It, it's just, it's easier to write, it's easier to read, um, and I can just, I can think about my functions. I feel like I can think about them a little bit more like I was writing callbacks you know, on, on the creation of the function. It just feels more like that, uh, um, and, and it's much more readable, you know, const, uh, this is a constant. It's called get stuff. It equals an arrow function, which takes in an ID and returns me a new promise. That promise, uh, you know, now now anything that I that I put into um, this ID here is available in the scope of the promise, and uh, implicitly the promise is implicitly returned for me. It's just a far better way to write promises. Again, if you already knew that and you've already been doing that, more power to you. If not, it's a great way to kind of um, make the syntax of your uh, JavaScript feel and look a lot better. And to me, when I started writing the promises this way, it made me start using them a lot more. Like, uh, this was like, just felt so good to write it that way. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. If it was, uh, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks. See ya.